don't know why. We are live. We are live. Live, live, live. Hello. It's Tuesday night. <laughs> Time for our comedy. We miss Zoom. We haven't been on Zoom as much lately because we've been out in the real life dive bar scene and uh and now we're back for this week so today is august 10th next week august 17th we are back at lotus lounge in east hollywood so that's going to be a lot of fun so if you guys want to come join us it starts at eight o'clock eight to ten we have a lot like a dozen or so comics coming to the stage so uh, let's yeah. talk to um yeah let's talk to our our tech guru carol newell she's out there <laughs> on the scene almost every day and let's hear uh what's been going on with the shows carol well i had a great show at the rec room last friday uh in huntington beach and i am at pan pacific on saturday at Baja Grill in Koreatown on Saturday night. Um, still doing the open mic on Wednesday at the Rumi Cafe in Studio City. Thursday, I'll be at the Corbin Bowl. And uh, that is about it for this week, but uh, there's other stuff in the works. So working on that. Um, the J-Spot yeah. just opened uh, in Inglewood. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but the J-Spot. I've been there. Was, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We had the uh, comics only meet and greet last night so we did that and I got to meet a bunch of people there mm, it was like a smorgasbord for me <laughs> I guess yeah 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 well, so girl, I'll be doing some stuff that there sounds too fun. Mm -hmm. that sounds fun and the J spot yeah it's like an all black uh, audience and all black comics but I did do a set there one time it was a quiet room but mm -hmm. afterward, I got some compliments. They said, well, they're still checking you out. That's why they're quiet. They're not going to laugh because they don't know you. So. Right, right. Anyway, yep. get yourself into some uncomfortable positions with this uh, comedy, going to some skanky places. Mm -hmm. Not to say that's a skanky place, but we go to skanky places with mm -hmm. dive bar comedy. So anyway, yep. let's do the theme song because we forgot to do it. Do let's that. do the theme song. This is the late and great GT. Uh, he loved going to dive bars and he loved going to comedy clubs and he loved going to open mics and he was doing them almost every day. So that's how he knows a lot of comedians that we met through our shows. All right. Uh, the Zoom did an update. So now there's a bunch of new stuff. I don't know what's going on, but uh, give me a second. Okay. It wants to... Uh, do weird stuff. <laughs> I didn't try sharing a song last night, but let's see what happens. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Hopefully, there we go. today We've, we're joined from some international people and uh 
We're also joined from someone who is in a different time zone, although it is in the US. Let's start with uh, Bella, Bella Rose, joining us all the way from the Hawaiian Islands. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what are you doing in Hawaii? Oh, I'm just hanging out here with my uh, teenage daughter. Just like always a joy. <laughs> There's so do you guys have any plans? Anything you're you're planning to do while there, or you're just well, enjoying the beach, or what? I want to do. She's like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Oh shit! Can you guys just pause me for a second? Because that's actually room service. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> let's let's uh, get back to Bella in a minute. All right. Who else we got here? Andy T. Andy. Hi. That's Welcome awesome. To the show. Get room service in the bar. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm not going to let it wreck the illusion. I'm thinking they're bringing it to her there. So, Andy, where are you joining us from? I'm in it Seattle. Be a bar in a hotel. Right. With a door and room service. But still, we're going to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andy, I forgot. How'd you end up on Dive Bar Comedy? Were you watching us last week? No, I've been watching you guys for a while. Um, I started comedy probably in February of this year. Um, so I'm one of those Zoom comics. Um, I started through Second City. Um, so I did mm -hmm. a couple of different classes through them. I've just started breaking in on the profession, like getting actual money for doing comedy, which I didn't know was possible. Um, <laughs> uh, so I've been on- it's not, it's not possible in LA. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, we're like, you can teach us. You just started in February. And you yeah, I'm not a comedian. I'm nice. actually- I'm actually signed up on Mr. Mr. C's political party. So the stuff on the military, I saw that a couple of weeks ago. That's on point. So I'm I'm actually an ideological follower of him. Thank you, sir. Oh, wow. Wow. We're building up the political troops here right. as well. Clap, 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 That's clap, exciting. clap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, let's see what Bella got for room service. Bella, how's the food in Hawaii? You know, because I'm vegan, there's only like three options on the menu for me. Uh, and As there should be. Left the resort. <laughs> so, I mean, the, the options are good. Of course, yesterday I ordered a pizza without cheese. I'm like, just give me vegetables on the pizza, no cheese. Of course, they send up what? Cheese. Yeah. We cheese call it, um, <laughs> call it pus and, fermented pus and blood. So I'm like, yeah, maybe so it was soy cheese. Fermented <laughs> blood on my pizza. I didn't say that, but yeah. So other than that, you know, the food's pretty good. The three options wow. have been great. The What's food. your goal? I mean, what was your thing of why to go go to Hawaii? Well, Faith like, wanted to the go to weather. Hawaii. Yeah, Faith wanted to just hang on the beach and just get out of the house. Like we've been in the house in quarantine for a year and a half. My poor dog is at home just having a nervous breakdown. Apparently yeah. she has not left the bed. She's just sitting <coughs> in the bed. And then she won't eat and she won't go for her walk oh. or do anything. And then like if she goes off the bed, she'll just go and sit in front of the door. And just be like, oh, I feel so bad for her. So yeah, but Faith oh, wants to well, Croatia, and obviously we can't really travel that far. I don't know. I mean, with school coming up and everything, and I had all my medical issues, so I'm like, let's just go somewhere close, tropical Hawaii. Boom. Dylan went last week with his girlfriend. So. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's romantic. Wow. Yeah. How Even old is he? He's gonna be 21 in August. 20 seconds. Imagine being 21 years old and going on a romantic trip to Hawaii with your girlfriend. That's I, exciting. All, all expenses paid. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, can you imagine? And like just no, that didn't happen to me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they were like too That's a lot of fun. Chilling. And I'm just like, <coughs> what a life. What a life. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, have fun while you're there. Don't forget to have fun. Oh, oh, oh god the babies are back let's see who's next okay bruce mccarthy how are you doing bruce oh there you go hey what's up stop auto focusing hey, it just got I'm right there somehow. Hey, auto okay there you are there you are all right so um, 
So, Joe, um, I'm interviewing you. What are you doing this week? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? I, I did the, the child's uh, last swim lesson was today. Two kids. Uh, I, I like their teacher. They had eight lessons, but neither one of them, like, got the hang of it. They still can't swim. So um, we'll keep trying. Um, try yeah, again yeah. next year. You, you, you never know. Do you need to teach them how to swim? They may have to leave the country. Like the Dominicans do, you know. You go to yeah, Puerto I mean, Rico. swimming is, is an essential skill. So well, there's a lot learn, of essential skills. But anyway, so I've been yelled at. Hey, Bruce, 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 Bruce. I, oh God, I have to go get the ice. Bruce, uh, can you keep talking? I'll be. Yeah, I can keep talking. Hello, everyone. So Hello, anyway, Bruce. hi, hi. Yeah. Wow, dude. Oh, mister. What's up, mister? Not nothing, man, Bruce. Dude, Good to see you, man. Good dude, to see you. How you been since so the last time you trouble. did the show? Um, I, I got a lot of shit going on, dog. Uh, fucking, I got the, I'm in Southern Illinois, dude. You know, it's, uh. That's my bird. Okay, um. <laughs> I got an African graded. So anyway, um, I got a McCarthy. It's called the McCarthy Comedy Open Mic Club out here in uh, Southern Illinois. Opening night's going to be Saturday. I expect at least three people. Um, <laughs> who knows, dude? Who knows? Dude? I, I, I'm not going to worry about it. It was so tough to get a fucking room. I had to fucking buy a mic. I had to buy speakers. And I plugged the mic into the speakers. And they're like, wait, there's no power, dude. You have to get a mixer for the fucking mic and the speakers and shit, dude. I'm like, the fuck, dude? I'm like, whatever. So I go to all these fucking dive bars, like fucking, I got taught from Joe, right? And nobody was interested. No, we're not interested. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Listen, at the very least, give me your slowest motherfucking night. I'll come in and I'll bring 15, 20 people for an hour and a half. And then I'll maybe buy a couple shots of your shitty drinks. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't list so, but I finally got someone that said, okay, I got it. I got the advertisement. It, it, oh. Fingers crossed it'll go well and shit, dude. But we'll 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 see how it goes. Um yeah. it won't nice, be as successful nice. as Joe's di dive bar comedy, dude, but you know, it'll we gotta get well, over it. Well, you know, we average about three to seven people, so <laughs> well, no, it depends on the show. It just depends. Dude, I, I was there, dude. Depends there, was who, on the the 30, there was 20 to 30 people in that bitch, dude. That, yeah. the, what, the one in, uh, that you had over by, uh, it was by uh, Los Feliz. What was that one called? Is that Lotus oh, yeah. Lounge? Lotus, Lotus Lounge. Lounge. Yeah. Lotus Drop. And that, and that shit was definitely a dive bar, dude. I came out of there with hepatitis. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. And we're back there. That's, it. That's we're it. going back. <laughs> we're going back there. Uh, how's your supply of penicillin? Well, it's for the unafraid. We're, yeah, we're you going there. We're unafraid. You, you're gonna use the restroom, build a nest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I put that nested. But anyway, yeah. So I was telling, I was telling Miss that I do, and I'm doing a an open mic out here, dude. Other than that, I I filmed a movie, you know, out in Missouri. Uh, it was called the, uh, the Flat Earth Society. It's supposed to be a comedy. But um, other than that, you know, just chilling. Just see see what the week goes. Oh, I would, I did something for Carol last week, too. Newell, the one that's oh. frozen right below me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm <Carol>. not frozen. <laughs> You're frozen. Sing it. Sing it. Let, let it, it go. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Love no, you, he was Carol. On the world's best laugh, you guys. I love you, Carol. Thank you. I love you too. All right. Aww. <laughs> Aww, that was a lot of fun. Mm. All right, Bruce. Welcome to the show. Let's see. Uh, we got Casey McNeil. Casey McNeil is here. Mm. <laughs> Hello, I am here. Barely. Better, better late than never. Yeah, no kidding. I had the worst. I had the worst time of it. I. Like you, Joe, I have one of those little babies, except he's 10. And yeah. <laughs> I begged him today not to, I, I do this on the front porch so that there's no noise in the house. 
and my computer and all this stuff. I leave it all set up on purpose because the show comes so late. I asked them today. I begged them, don't move my stuff. Do not move <laughs> my stuff because I need to jump on this show when I get home. So I get home. All my stuff is not here. No, I had to go around finding everything piece by piece. I'm putting it together. Then I couldn't find the phone. Ah, these are only problems for me. But I'm here anyway, and I'm about to smoke a joint, so everything should be better soon. Uh, wow. you're, yeah. you're making me afraid for my future. Like, oh, I no. thought they would be out of, out of that. Oh, hey. yeah, it doesn't get better, honey. Hey. It gets, it doesn't Wait, get better. No. But you got girls, right? No, I have one girl, one boy. And a girl. One girl, oh. one boy. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got three. I have a boy that's 31, a girl that's 22. And this boy, this 10 from three different moms. Oh my. <laughs> 21st century wow. blended family Damn. right here. That's us. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. Different. What can I say? It took me a few times to get it right. Uh, so I wanted to ask Bella. I wanted to ask Bella if she got my message back about the dolphin. Bella, are you, is Bella there? Yeah, no, I, I like I I didn't see it because my phone died. Um, early this morning, I was like, I read a little bit of it at the, like when it first came in, what are you saying that the dolphins were like masturbating or something? Yes. Yes. She has <laughs> this picture of the I dolphin. Like, oh, like, look how, look at these cute dolphins. And this one of these dolphins is in a very, is in a position that I understand from my own past <laughs> that is uh, where they, they show their bellies to you when they're sexually aroused. And so I just oh. said to her, I said, I don't think the dolphin's doing what you think he's doing. <laughs> and, and, and she has no me back with like three question marks i'm like well here's the thing <laughs> my daughter doesn't want to swim with him because she's like everybody knows that dolphins are rapey mom they're rapey and i'm like they oh. are she's she's not wrong how do you know so much about dolphins casey what how do you know so much about dolphins Oh, well, I, it's not, nothing fantastic. Just, uh, just because I, my ex-wife was a professional ballet dancer, a very beautiful girl. We went to, uh, to uh, Vegas and uh, we went to Mirage and they have the dolphin display and thing there. And as she's standing up by the glass, the dolphin keeps coming back up by the glass and fla flapping his stuff up by the glass. And then swimming back around, showing his belly. Ha ha, he's really funny. And then he comes back around, showing his belly. Then he slaps up against the glass some more. And then one of the trainers explained to us that when they show their bellies, if they show their belly upside down to the top of the water when you're on the top, it's a form of, you know, they're sexually aroused when they do that. So he was essentially flashing himself to my ex. And that's how I learned about that. <laughs> So I'm not an expert on dolphins, just an expert on dolphin masturbation, apparently. <laughs> wow. I am learning new things all the time. So. I, I thought, I, hey, the more you know, you know, I, I'm here to help. Uh, uh, I'm here to help. Uh, all right. You have to people. watch out for this. You believe your daughter. They are rapey. <laughs> okay. No, so how old is your daughter? Do you, how old is your daughter? She's 16. Sweet. Well, almost. She'll be 16 like next week. September. Yeah, okay. old enough to get raped by a dolphin. Yeah, what's yours? What's yours, Joe? How old is your kid? Your daughter. Uh, three. Two and three. My daughter's three. It's yeah, you, you got. Yeah, you. Let's talk she's when she's enough. like she's eleven. Yeah. Let's talk again when she's like eleven. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's when it starts getting bad. <laughs> I got that. Oh man. Years. Nine. All right, Casey. Well, well, I'm see. here and I'm I glad it's have... my favorite show. It's my favorite late show to do. I'm so Aww. glad I'm here. Ooh. I'm glad you're here too. All right, we've got someone joining us from another country, Shaggy Durai, all the way from India. Ooh. How's it going? Hey. 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 I'm telling you, man, dolphins will never take instruction if the Wi-Fi is turned off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a wife. I only have Wi-Fi. <laughs> what part of India are you in? Right now, I'm in Pondicherry, South India. Okay, I was in Mysore in South India. You know oh, she was India. just there. Yeah, oh, yeah. For like really? so many months. You know my oh. sore. 
Mysore. Mysore, yeah. Of Mysore, yeah. That's great. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. It's a nice place. I love it. I'm missing India so much. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, hey, hey, Shaggy, do you have yeah, any extra country. room? All yeah. Indians are my brothers and sisters. <laughs> yeah, we want to know if you got a place to put us up, buddy. You got any extra room for Bella? Yeah, come on over. Uh, come to Pondicherry. It's a, it's a French colony. Uh, you do get some good food. Uh, you stay. It's all. It's a reasonably priced uh, place. And we got ashrams here. You can chill. You can vibe. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm right now. I'm working with a circus company. I'm juggling. Uh, you, oh, you, it's, wow. it's, uh, Wait, you can juggle? Diversity. Look, look. Wow. Some white Watch. Watch your people. So you see that white people? It's all mixed. It's not just only India. I mean, it, we are the majority here. But still, it's uh, the when you go to the spiritual places, you have a mix. Yes. Not like majority of the mix is uh, my people. Uh, hmm. But you see your people then and there. <laughs> Okay. And we have African pavilion here uh, in Oroville. My the place that I'm right now is Oroville. It's a place for everybody. Uh, oh. So this guy, I, I don't know, his, uh, like this guy collaborated with some Europeans and then they created this place for everybody. And uh, this guy actually applied for the, uh, uh, during the British colonial time, this guy applied for uh, the uh, civil service exam. He passed the civil service, but he failed the horse riding test. So he became a yogi. <laughs> then he became a yogi. He started his own movement. His name is Aurobindo. Huh. Check wow. it out. Hey, if you can't get in civil service, become a yogi. That's what I always say. <laughs> well, you got to be able to ride a horse. <laughs> yeah. We are learning so much here. All right. Wow. Well, welcome back, Shaggy. I always love it when you're here because uh -huh. uh, you have that international perspective for us and the yoga perspective so let's see mr c yes do you have anything you need to announce anything going on um well you know i mean we're probably gonna live through the apocalypse in the next five to thirty years it's funny um past that everything else is fine <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know, check out Skip Bags. Check me out on Netflix. Um, I'm in a movie called uh, Cross, Rise of the Villains. I got about 10 to 15 minutes of camera time at three different points. So if you got the Netflix, Cross, Rise of the Villains. And it's like a kooky movie, so you get really fucked up before you watch it because it's like a real shitty version of The Expendables. Yeah, all right. Check it out. Check I it thought out. The Expendables was already a shitty version of The Expendables. <laughs> nice. Well, we stepped it up a level of shit. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like science fiction involved. It's like, mm. it's like magic and shit. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. That's cool. That's cool. So we got a bunch of the dudes and the one lady. Uh, either you are uh, to Carol or a Joe. Well, Carol's. I'm in. I'm going to go. Yeah? Carol's going to go. Carol's doing time. Carol. Mm -hmm. yeah. Add her to the list usually does in prison she's doing comedy time <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> i couldn't resist it was a stupid joke <laughs> time no i'm not doing time in prison i'm doing time with prisoners <laughs> right <laughs> oh boy all right mm -hmm. I know this girl, she used to answer the, she met her boyfriend, she answered a pay phone. I mean, it was a long time ago. These, these guys in jail used to just call pay phones just because they were so bored. And uh, that's how she got her boyfriend. It's just wow. like, <laughs> a prank call to a pay phone from jail. <laughs> that's a great story for the kids. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Like, what oh, I love it with it. that part, but I mean, you you really you really have no standards if that's what you're. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there's not, there's, there's some of these prisoners need pen pals, you know, because they write beautiful letters and they spend a lot of time 
writing their letters because they have nothing else to do in there. Yeah, you get all these beautiful love poetry. And there's some women that just like writing to prisoners. It's so weird. Like some of these women are really attracted to murderers. Like they're rock stars. Oh, like it's a, like they're living on the edge. Mm, it's guess. like a vicariously living through them or something. I don't know. I don't know. They always know where he's at and they know he's not really going to cheat. Oh, that's true. Very controlling. Like <laughs> that You're means- like it's only connection to the outside world. So that's wow. you're like an umbilical cord. You're literally like an umbilical cord to the planet to him. Like you're you're like literally the god that black men call black women. The black woman is God. That's because she tells us in jail. Yeah, the clarification <laughs> is he's not gonna cheat with a woman while he's in there. <laughs> wow, we're just straying so far into dark territory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should start this show. That's right. That's right. And that's right. We always start with the heart and soul of America, which is dark and uncomfortable. And that's what America's all we about. And that's what the Die Bar Comedy Show is about. And we're about to get it in. You guys ready to start this Die Bar Comedy Show? Can I get it? Yeah. 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 All right, all right, all right, all right. So I'm the Cecilia Enforcer, aka Poppy Call It a Bad Boy. This is the Die Bar Comedy Show hosted by Miss Wild Joe. Technical advance by Miss Carol Newell and fucked up by Mr. C every time I open my mouth. <laughs> we about to get it in. We're going to set it off with five, six, five, six comedians tonight. And we're going to get it in. We got four dicks and two vaginas. So things are great, great set. <laughs> I mean, because plenty of holes, because, you know, the guys got plenty of holes. Two women, they got three mm-hmm. of these. Plenty, it's just mm-hmm. actually missing holes. So anybody else want to hop on the show, fill in a hole, you just hop right in. We got a spot for you. <laughs> and bring your loot. Mm-hmm. That's the best part. Mm-hmm. So, all right, so let's get it in. Let's see if we got to open this thing up. Ooh, we got our first comedian. So we about to jump it off with our first comedian. We about to get it in. This gentleman right here is a classic family favorite. Are you guys ready for this first comedian? Can I get a yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right, so this first comedian comes to the stage. He's actually been very active. I believe he's out. Illinois, I believe this Saturday, he has a mic that he is now running coming up. So check out his pages, check out his Instagram. So you can go to his mic if you're a comedian in his area. He is also recently in a movie called Slack Earth Society, which got to be some shit by some dumb motherfuckers wrote. So I'm not even going to get into that because I hate Flat Earth. That's a whole nother <laughs> issue I got going on. And this one right here is super talented. He got great letters for his name. He's the BM, but he ain't your baby mama. He is clap, 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 Bruce McCarthy. Wait. All right. I'm not going to fuck it up this time. This time I got, wait, here it is. iPhone start timer. I got a fucking timer. <laughs> I always fuck that shit up, dude. All right, dude. Now, now, as soon as I start talking, the fucking bird, listen, bird, I got a fucking air fryer, dude, and I got some adobo seasoning. So shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> Anyway, I'm Bruce. I've introduced <laughs> before and shit, dude. Dominican Irish, dude. That's like when a leprechaun bangs a piñata. Um, hey. Also, hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 hey. But look, I'm not white enough. I'm not. I'm not Latino enough to be Latin, but I'm not white enough to enjoy fucking chicken salad of raisins. Um, <laughs> There's all sorts of fucking Irish mixes out there. We got Irish setter, Irish. Yeah, there's Irish. I, I totally butchered that joke, dude. I'm not, look, every time I fucking drink beer at a comedy, even if it's at home, dude, I will fucking butcher a joke, but it's it's okay. But anyway, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in Illinois now, dude. I was, in, I was in LA, dude. I was spending, what, $3,500 a month for a fucking 650 square foot fucking apartment in Los Angeles, dude, because that's was cheap there and shit, dude. But <laughs> I moved to Southern Illinois, dude, and for thirty five hundred dollars and a carton of Winston, Wiz- Wiz- we got a fucking lake house. God bless. <laughs> yeah, it's got a bunch of problems, dude. I had issues, dude. Fucking the backyard was flooding, dude. So I went. I had to get some dirt, dude. So I go. I got a place out here in Southern Illinois. It's like Disney World, dude, for rednecks. It's called Rural King. It's like Walmart, dude, but like just fucking plaid shirts everywhere, dude. They actually had a fucking aisle with freaking uh, AR-15s. So I had to go get oh, some. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude. AR-15s, dude. It was like, ha. Huh. So I go I go and get some dirt, right? 
we go to the cashier, dude. I look at the cashier in his face, dude, and I go, all right, um, I need uh, 10 bags of topsoil. And the guy looks like he had all of, like, three chromosomes. He looked at me and said, what do you need uh, these, uh, with this topsoil for? And I go, I look at him. I go, dude, I need to bury a body. <laughs> and he's like, well, then uh, I'm not going to sell that to you. <laughs> and i'm like why not you're better off using sand <laughs> <laughs> i'm like okay thank you you murderous bastard um so anyway um it, it, out in reality dude carbondale it's beautiful out here dude we got um literally fucking a, a university dude we got starbucks mm. it's beautiful and, and we're surrounded by racist mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah because it's difficult because I'm, I'm 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 not i'm not all white i'm not all i'm not all latin i'm, I'm somewhere in the middle and shit dude i'm i'm dominican and I'm Irish, and it's and I I'm I, I'm confused all the time, dude. I and I love when I meet Spanish people, and they'll talk shit in front of me. I look at them in the face and stuff, and go, oh. "No speaky Spanish," and they fucking will just talk <laughs> shit, and I'll just kind of just whatever, dude. But the Dominican <laughs> Republic, dude, look. I spent many years there, dude. I, I went to university there. I studied I studied medicine there. I never graduated, dude, but I studied there for four years. Um and 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 it was it's it's a, it's 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 actually kind of a shithole. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> mm -hmm. It's kind of a shithole. It's really difficult for the people there, dude. One pace uh like one dollar is like 20,000 pesos and shit. And for like a buck, dude, I can freaking, I can buy a house. Um, <laughs> but there's, there is, there is something that the Dominicans can fucking claim credit to. And, and this is their salvation. And that's baseball. Baseball. <laughs> oh, that's it, dude. Baseball, dude. The kids, literally, dude, the literally, the, the parents will pull their children out of school. Okay, and fucking say, okay, you don't go to school anymore. You you play baseball, and they'll fucking play baseball from morning until night, dude. Little kid, dude, fucking can't even lift the fucking bat, dude. Swing, but but they play, and then when they get home at night, okay, the hmm. kids are like, mommy, papi, can I play Nintendo? And, and mom and pop will look at them. Oh, Nino, no, you can't go play Nintendo. You you go play baseball. When you finish playing baseball, you come home. And it's just whatever. All right. Um, so enough of that. Uh, let's finish up with something. Oh, I'll finish up with this one. Dude. So once I was in the Dominican Republic, was going to the uh, Puerto Rico, and I was getting robbed for whatever reason, dude. Fucking guy puts a gun in the back of my head, dude. And I'm looking at him, I'm like, well, what are you doing? I go, I need this money to go to Puerto Rico. And, and, and the guy was like, pulls the trigger, cocks it up, and goes, hombre, don't go to Puerto Rico, it's dangerous there. I'm done, guys, that's my time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. that's right. Chilling out in the Illinois and whatnot. Then when's that event you happen again? What's that event you happen again? Uh, McCarthy, uh, McCarthy uh, open mic comedy on Saturday, 8 p.m. at Manny's in Carbondale, Illinois. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Outstanding. So definitely check that out. Bruce McCarthy laid it down, dropping jewels, breaking knowledge. And me personally, I got a thing for this chick named Amara La Negra. She's <laughs> a, a, a La Dominicana. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Because, you know, Dominicans ain't nothing just but the black people who got dropped off early, right? <laughs> them, them and Haitians. They just dropped them off early. They're like, we getting off here. It's nice. <laughs> That's why they are. And when that, they're like, oh, we Latino. I was like, you're darker than me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck up. 
Tell me Cubans. Wait. Just be lying to themselves. You There's somebody there. darker than you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not <laughs> impressed. Not, yeah. I got this song. Not Sammy friend. Sosa. Well, go ahead. What you said? Not Sammy Sosa. Yeah. Oh, well, well, well we had Sammy Sosa. <laughs> we had Sammy Sosa. <laughs> Apparently, Sammy Sosa is lighter than you now. Oh, hell no. Yeah, yeah. Things have changed. It would not. It has to be of another round of applause for Bruce McCarthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All righty, right, right. So we're going to come in another dude. We're going to sandwich our ladies in between all this penis. So next up, we got another wonderful gentleman coming to the stage. Another classic family favorite. This gentleman, I believe, is in the Bay Area. He also is very interested in dolphin sex. What mm -hmm. I have learned as an educational show, <laughs> dolphins have sex with each other as a bonding experience, even if they're guys. And they also have skeletons shaped just like humans with fused legs. So that's why you guys are always so fucking horny, you dolphin fucks. <laughs> so, so new sex position, the dolphin fuck, the dolphin punch. That's what you got. I get, babe, I'm a dolphin punch. <laughs> She's like, what's that mean? I'm going to roll over my back, right? And I'm going to show you my dick. And then you're going to lean in, and then I'm going to just pop you in the head when you get me <laughs> <laughs> Dolphin punch. Fucking romantic, bro. Romantic, bro. There's like 14-year-old kids teaching their homies right now how to do this shit. I didn't start it something. By the way, Carl Anthony for president. Just let you know. It would not. I'm very informative. I can teach the kids a lot. <laughs> it would not. Don't screenshot this one. All right. So you guys ready for our next comedian? Can I get a yeah? Yeah. yeah. Right, so let me get a clap, 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 clap for the C Magnetti, Casey McNeil. Yo, yo, from Boston, here from Boston. But I will be in the Bay Area. We'll be in San Francisco uh, on uh, October 10th for the Mutiny Radio Comedy Festival and uh, Comedy Oakland Club there when, my, when I'm traveling. Uh, but tonight, Boston, I got a question, Mr. C. Uh, you know, we're talking about black. I, we know profiling people of color is like fucked up and the cops do it and we got the police violence and all this stuff. But you wanna know what else is fucked up? Profiling the black people by marketing companies. My question is this, how come ads on TV about bad credit always feature black people? But like, hey, do you have really high risk insurance? Do you need high risk insurance and, and, and you're black? <laughs> you or you, you be high risk insurance, you have bad credit, you must be black. Like it's just fucked up because I'm as white as they come. I'm hiding a TV from fucking Rena Center. Like, <laughs> fuck you, finger hut, you'll never catch me. <laughs> you want to be a record house, people? Good luck to you. And I'm not returning those blockbuster VHSs. I got news for you. Um <laughs> Yeah, so speaking from the trailer trash network, that is fucked up because you know. <laughs> We're not being represented by properly in bad credit ads, I think, or something. No, it's been a bad year for me, you guys. I, I'm broke. I'm, I, my debit card got declined at, for a cheeseburger at McDonald's the other day. Oh. Yeah, the guy who runs my car is, oh, dude, this cheeseburger was declined. I'm like, come on, man. Can you try running it without the cheese? <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't always like this for me I used to be one of those high price consultants I used to make a lot of money I asked my wife one day I remember I said to her I said hey honey if I if I leave all this money behind and just become a struggling stand up comic will you still love me she said of course I'll love you I'll miss you <laughs> so, alright so we're not going for the broke shit I don't know I need another I need a job like you know people say do what you know so I thought marijuana reviewer, you know, might be good because first people <laughs> said, oh, yeah, because people said, oh, Casey, maybe, you know, you're having a trouble getting a job because you have a weed problem. I'm like, weed is not a problem. Earning enough money to smoke weed is the problem. That's why I need to <laughs> uh, So I thought be a marijuana reviewer, right? Like they have people that, that write reviews for weed. You know, it's like, oh, it has a soft ar aroma, begins cerebral and ends up settling into a nice body. High that would be great, except I know that all my reviews would come out like this. I'd be like, <laughs> that one was pretty good. 
I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> if you like weed, you probably like it. You know, I saw none of them would come up right, but so then right. I thought, well, you know, maybe I could be a porn reviewer because they got people to do that too, like, you know, four and a half boners, five boners. Um, but I know all those reviews would come out the same way too because it'd be like, shh, 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 ah. <laughs> that was good. That one was pretty good. <laughs> right? <laughs> I liked it. If you like porn, you probably like it. <laughs> probably goes good with some weed. Um, so I don't know. So that's it. But really, I'd love to have both of those jobs because then, because then, you know, when people ask me if I can like take a meeting at two o'clock, I can say, I'm sorry, I'm all fully booked up that day, uh, masturbating and smoking weed. Uh, <laughs> I just want to have a chance to say that. But then I thought, oh no, the real job would be like rock star. Because you're like people that are rock stars, like they get to just gyrate on stage all day, sweat a bunch, and like get applause at the end of their shift, you know. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to be a rock star. I just want to like do that in the accounting department. You know, like slide over to my computer. Ah, here comes your spreadsheet with a fucking graph. Right? <laughs> the girls be like, oh my God, we love Casey's TPS report so much. I'm going to throw my panties on his desk. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know what, how much how much time have I got left. All this stuff is killing so bad. I don't want to go over. <laughs> now what, what what do I have on time? Did you anybody watch me? Two minutes. Okay, two minutes. We're gonna switch gears to fucking something else, I guess. God. Um. So, uh, one thing about Facebook I wonder about is how come you know Facebook has all these filters and stuff, now, right? Like they got you can add the GIF file and they got all these picture filters and all these different things. What what they really need for me is a breathalyzer filter. So like I have to blow into a tube or something before I can make any comments, you know? So I'm like, like yeah. and the thing comes this is, oh, sorry, man, you're too fucked up to make any comments. All you can say is okay or shrug me emoji. That's your choices. Oh, uh, that's what I need. And they say psychic hotlines are back. Did you guys hear that? I'm going to do all my worst jokes tonight. And just get them out of the way. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm doing a different sentence. Psychic hotlines are back. Did you guys hear that? I, I thought that would be really cool. One of the ads on TV said I could I could speak to my favorite psychic. So I called up and asked for Nostradamus. They said, we knew you'd be calling about that. Um, <laughs> okay, that's killing. So what do I close with that really kills? Uh, let's see. I'm getting old. Oh, yeah. Here's a really terrible joke to close with. I'm getting old. Um. Yeah, I'm getting old. Uh, somebody bought, I'm fearing my mortality. Somebody bought me one of those books, like 101 things to do before you die. They had lots of cool things in there, like, um, uh, you know, go, go to Paris, take a cruise. But none of the stuff I thought I'd try to do before I die, like call a doctor, <laughs> doctor for help. <laughs> Put more fiber in my diet. I don't know, something. Uh, it'll happen to you kids too. You young kids, you'll get old like me. Someday you'll be talking to your grandkids saying, when I was a kid, we didn't have an actual robot uprising. We had to make believe with video games. That's all I'm going to do. Good night, you guys. I love you. I'm going to stay and watch everybody do great jokes instead of mine. What? Yeah. Remember, I lost the beat in town, man. Casey I tell you what, when a white guy opens his set with that joke about black people being profiled, you can hear a fucking pin drop in the room. Okay. I've tried to do that joke like <laughs> seven times, okay? As soon as they start talking, like, oh man, where's MAGA hat going with this shit? You know, I'm like, <laughs> right? Just right? Because hey. I'm fucking old, they will not have it from me at all. Until I go, yeah, I'm still hiding a TV from Finger Hut. And they're like, oh, really? Oh, he's You're a fucking right? hillbilly after all. We know. Thanks for right. Thanks for right. Well, hey, sometimes you gotta break the comedic hymen at the beginning of your comedy. <laughs> sometimes you gotta pop that cherry first and then get to your comedy. You know what I mean? Like, all right, ropes test. I can see what I can do. So that was actually a great job and very informative. And you also mentioned something that I recently learned that I too am also getting old. Uh, it reminded me, and now I'm having all these little come to Jesus moments where I'm realizing all this shit that I just say terrible things to people now. And that's one mm -hmm. thing I forgot to mention. In the next two to three months, I'm supposed to have a little comedy special called Come to Jesus Meeting. So it needs to be done by Wally Rocks. And if they fucking flake, I'm going to finish my practice for it and I'm going to record it my goddamn self. 
So look out for that in the next couple of months. And let's give another round of applause for Casey McNeil. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you do comedy. Just get all the bad ones out. Man. Just... Oh, y'all not laughing? Well, good. Here's some more bad ones, motherfuckers. <laughs> That's comedy. <laughs> Here's some more ones I hate. Mm-hmm. I love it. Outstanding. So, so we get to the sweetest part of this, which is the center. There's a song made by Escape. It's called The Softest Place on Earth. And we have reached that point in the Dive Bar Comedy Show where we get to the sweet, sweet center of soft skin, good smell in Southern and Northern and Western and Eastern comfort. We're going to be right on time. So you guys ready for this next comedian? Can I get a yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right. So this comedian is well traveled and all over the place. This lady is a yogi type that has been to India, probably doing nasty things with Shaggy, but he won't admit it. Now she's back down in Hawaii. She's got a great tan, got a glow like she's pregnant. So you know <laughs> this is going to be a great set. You guys, can I get a clap, 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 clap for Miss? I can fold into a box. Bella Rose. Greetings. Aloha. Yeah. Aloha. So, um, yeah, I loved your set, Casey. I thought it was really good. I was not there. But I thought it was really good. Bless, bless. And mm-hmm. where's Wild Joe? Mm-hmm. She's not here. I wanted to, like, commend her for putting this show together, even though she's suffering and she's just, like, nobody would know it. It's just, like, boom. Fought mm. cancer. She fought cancer. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't even like get out of bed. <laughs> I'm just like doing chemotherapy and putting shows together. Like, damn. Woo! Can't stop, won't stop. Right? That's right. And, yeah, so I do do a lot of yoga and people wonder why I spend so much time. I'm like, hmm, is she trying to eat her own pussy? <laughs> Good guess. That is a good guess. And it might be an option soon since I'm going on like mm, forever without actually having sex. So, mm. <laughs> but actually, yeah, it's just really because I have a shit ton of issues. Like I'm really fucked up. So I have to do my, I have to do yoga. Uh, basically because my mother is Lucifer. <laughs> and, um yeah i came from the loins of lucifer Ooh. yeah i know it's so scary why you may ask well obviously because what yes women turn into their fucking mothers and i'm realizing like now in retrospect all of the demon della moments i had you know, not only is she Lucifer, she's also a Nazi. <laughs> she moved to Montana to be around more white people. She's like, I really need to be around more white people. <laughs> you know, she can't stand any race besides white people. It's, it's like so thoroughly embarrassing. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just like, oh my God, this is what I came from. <laughs> And this is what I'm going to become, right? It's it's like ugh, very disturbing. Um, I had a joke in there somewhere. I guess like my <laughs> is a joke. because why tragedy over time is comedy. So my life is like continually tragic. Um, so except I'm sitting here in Hawaii, so. I guess it's not terribly tragic. That's the thing. That is how I am so much like my mother. Cause like, I'll be sitting there and then I'll just be like, oh my God, they don't have vegan food. Oh, and that's another thing. I have turned into what? A vegan Nazi. <laughs> it is true. Because like, seriously, if like I could, I would basically just like taser anybody eating a hamburger. I would. I would. I would just be like, that's 10,000 gallons of fucking water. Are you serious? Like, 
we are on a climate crisis and people are like, oh no, I don't want to give up my hamburger. It just, it just mm. drives me so fucking crazy. Like, honestly, I feel like uh, maybe I'm an alien and, and <laughs> my, they just left me down here because I did something really horrific. And then they're just like, yeah, we're going to leave you down here for infinity till you die. <laughs> <laughs> to die a, a mortal death you know because now I'm like thinking now that I'm getting super old because I am like super old I already have grown-up children they are adults and yet what I have not figured out how to be an adult yet I haven't I have to make this very like g because look at um little um Phaedra is watching me I'm like oh no I gotta make this like a very pg set <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, we can't talk about the pornos. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should talk about going to India. Oh, that is so funny. I love going to India. And you know, Indians, they are the ultimate. They made up passive aggressive behavior. They do this like bobble. Mm -hmm. that's, how they, that's how they talk. It'd mm -hmm. be like, um, excuse me, can I get some hot water? <laughs> you're like is that, a yes? is, that a no? is that a maybe so or is this like okay i i haven't i kind of lost my bobble because i haven't been to india in a, in a little while it's something you kind of get when you're there you know you're just like <laughs> mm -hmm. they don't stand in line either it's really funny it is like no standing in line in india hey <laughs> We, I, I decided, I'm like, okay, I really want to teach my children, well, my, my daughter, the youngest, like wanted to take her out of Calabasas, take her to India, submerge her in this culture, you know, so she'd have a really amazing cultural experience for three months, we go to India. And so on Christmas day, I'm like, okay, we're going to get all the yogis together and we're going to put together little care packages and I want you to take me to your like untouchables. And they were like, well, we don't have untouchables. I'm like, well, take me to the people who clean your toilets because they have like needs. And then they'll have like toilet cleaners who come like once a week who do the toilets and the trash. So they're mm -hmm. like below the meats. And I go and I like scan out the area the day before. There's like 50 people, you know, I'm like, okay, cool. We can handle this, right? So we get all the yogis together. We have all these like neatly presented packages. And we arrive and somehow the word must have gotten out because I mean, they're coming like out of the woodwork, like whoosh, just, just swarming out of the ground. I don't even know where they're coming from. And they're beating each other. They're fighting over the food. They're tearing up the packages because they're fighting over them. <laughs> and they take my daughter's little suitcase, you know, this old mm -hmm. man takes this little tiny suitcase and my daughter's like screaming, ah, my suitcase, ah, my suitcase, you know. And, and so the, the rickshaw driver guys like, tries to run after him, you know, and the guy starts like seeing the suitcase above his head. <laughs> and, the, and the rickshaw driver's like, okay, yeah, you take that suitcase. You just go for it, man. You know, <laughs> I'm not going to get beaten over a little kid's suitcase. Yeah, so I, I basically traumatized her. So she's like, fuck the poor. And I'm like, well, well, that backfired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> totally backfire. Like everything I do, like totally backfires as parenting, my parenting techniques. It's really hard because back in the day, like when I was a kid, what? We just beat the children. And in Africa, they were like, you need to beat the child. You do. Mm -hmm. You need to beat the child. Because she was like screaming and crying. She didn't want to eat. They're like, she doesn't want to eat. She's crying because she doesn't want to eat the food. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, she's crying. She doesn't want to eat it. They're like, wait, wait, she doesn't want to eat the food. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's the problem. They're like, this is why. And I'm like, this is why what? This is why we must beat them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it gets even worse because apparently you can't use guilt and manipulation either. My 25-year-old uh, who's now like getting a doctorate in psychology because I fucked her up so badly, yeah, she's like, okay, mom, uh, you can't use guilt and manipulation. I'm like, you can't use guilt and manipulation and you can't beat them. What do you do? Mm. Seriously, 
you know, I'm like, I'm not using guilt. I'm just I'm trying to appease to your conscious. Yeah, but she's like, no, that that is um, manipulative, manipulative behavior. So there I am. <sighs> so what was my time limit? Am I done? Oh yeah, you're like over. over. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, outstanding! Yeah, Another great you. job right there. <laughs> okay, and I didn't tell one joke, but there you go. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> you didn't even say nothing. She put the minute thing up, but you were you were flowing. You know how you 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 harmonial people. Oh, you have also smoothing, something you like know. I do this, and I did oh. that. I know, I know. Sirius was aligned with Venus. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. I know how you are. You're like, oh man, well, I was in the vibe and I was feeling it. You know what I mean? Now I do have some comfort for everyone out there because I hear this from a lot of my ladies. All of their mothers are apparently Satan. Now remember, Satan was God's favorite angel, and you can't hit him to do exactly what he was supposed to do because angels don't have souls. So God made him to do that. So feel better about your mother. God made her that way. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> or Gaia. Wait, you're an Earth person, right? Gaia made her that way. There you go. Now we don't need therapy anymore. Actually, the reason I'm running for president is because we all need better access to mental health care in America. And I think That's we all true. need free, health, free medical care, medical care for all, easy access to mental health care to help everybody. Because you see the killings in the street, you see the crazy people, you see our homeless people, you see our family members, you see me. <laughs> so let's get it done. That's right. Vote independent. Get these guys out of here. They don't care. They're just going to tell us Take away the bullets. Use a knife to kill people. That's their solution. That's 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 the solution that both parties give us. These guys. Anyway, another round of applause for Belarus. Yeah. All right, 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 right. So we're gonna spin right back in. We're gonna keep it in the soft spot. This lady right here is actually one of the hardest working ladies. She set herself off by grinding till she shine day to night, like she working the block, like she's selling rock. She built it through Zoom over the holiday. She built it through Zoom over the pandemic. And now she's in the streets, <laughs> traveling, doing shows, posting mics, performing, laying down. She even got a spot in Koreatown and Asians don't like nobody. <laughs> no, she don't. Like <laughs> you guys like the Jessica, can I get a yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right, let me get a clap, 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 clap for the world's best laugh, Carol Newell. <laughs> That's me, the world's best laugh, Carol Newell. Hi, thank you, Mr. C. Always good to uh, be on the Dive Bar Comedy. Uh, we've been doing those live shows. That's been a lot of fun. Um, and we got one coming up next Tuesday. We'll be at the Lotus Lounge in East Hollywood. So come out for that, you guys. Um, so, uh, I did do a show actually, uh, two weeks ago, I went down to knuckleheads. Remember when we did our show in knuckleheads? Uh, we did a show at knuckleheads with the futurist female, uh, comedy group. And, uh, I took a couple of ladies of color with me, uh, my friend, Sheila Jackson and Holly Logan. So us three ladies carpooled down there to the show. So we do the show, everything's all good. And then the host is like, Hey, you should go to this karaoke bar down the street. And I was like, mm. and they're like, yeah, let's do it. And I was like, okay. So we all travel on down to the karaoke bar. <laughs> we walk in and I looked around and I was like, Sheila, why are we the only black people in here? <laughs> <laughs> like we were seriously, there was, it was all white all the time. <laughs> I was like, Sheila, I feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> I really did. I, I'm not used to being around all white people all the time anymore. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun uh, down at Knuckleheads and Van <laughs> Uh Yeah, I've been, uh, mm, mm -hmm. yeah, I like dark meat. <laughs> That's true. I do. Mm -hmm. I have uh, been out on the dating scene now for a couple of years. It's been um, very interesting after my very long vacation of no dating because, uh, you know, marriage and uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I've been back on the dating scene and it has changed a lot because, you know, the last time I was dating, you know, it was popular, you guys, pagers, <laughs> <laughs> pagers and papos. That was the deal when I was dating a long time ago. And now it is a plethora of penises, a phalanx of phalluses, 
a cornucopia of cock, a wealth of wang, a deluge of dong, a shorter sport of schlong, a surplus of sausages, a carniceria de carne, a charcuterie of chode. <laughs> it is a lot of dick pics, you guys. A lot of dick pics. I don't know why do men send you pictures of their pee pee. <laughs> mm. Mostly unimpressive, uh, mostly not solicited. <laughs> uh, mm. At least let us ask for it. You know what I mean? Like, hey, show me your wiener. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Some of them are good, though, you guys. Uh, mostly the dark ones. Because, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the rumors are true, you guys. <laughs> the rumors are true. Yeah. Mm hmm. I, uh, yeah, I started dating on the apps, you guys. That's what I thought was a good idea. Uh, I tried it the hour time, which is for singles over 50. And mm, you guys, those, are, those pictures were terrible. <laughs> mm, not good at all. <laughs> Just mostly, uh, saggy balls is what that <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, don't, don't show your junk when you're over 50. That's a good piece of advice. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Mm -mm, nobody wants to see that so yeah. moved on over to the plenty of fish which mm, there was plenty yes definitely plenty of them but none of those fish were delicious they were all just disgusting <laughs> rotten uh i had to throw them all back <laughs> thank you but no thank you for those fish uh moving on down to where i should have started in the first place you guys evidently uh the blk is where it's at that's where all the pictures are super hot and all the men are black <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i've been there for a minute and i do notice a trend i did yes uh, uh i tend to date younger so uh i notice they all say the same thing on the profile good vibes looking for good vibes good vibes only i'm like who gives a f about vibes? <laughs> so I, just, I want some good dick <laughs> That's what I, was mm, I found out you guys it's the same thing <laughs> Uh, good vibes is the FWB 2021, you guys. <laughs> so now I just uh, give me all the vibes. I'll take all the vibes. Thank you. <laughs> all the vibes for me. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying to date out here in the streets. It's just not, uh, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. That's what it is. But you know, I do okay. So. <laughs> I, uh, I did hear from my friend that they were going to release a whole butt ton of convicts out of the prison system because, you know, COVID and whatnot. And I thought, hmm, well, I guess my dating pool is going to increase significantly. Uh, <laughs> uh. Mm, that's not nice. All right. Uh, so I'll leave you with this. I did get my DNA test done, you guys, because, you know, I'm a white girl and that's what we do. Uh, <laughs> to get our DNA test done. Uh, and I found out, you guys, uh, contrary to popular belief, uh, neither Elizabeth Warren nor I are at all American Indian. <laughs> Zero percent. That's what we are. No American Indian at all. Uh, just basically white AF, you guys. <laughs> Super duper white. And um, I got the white guilt to go right with it, you guys. <laughs> I, got the, I feel terrible about what my ancestors did, but I can't change that. But I feel like, you know, now that I date exclusively black, I am giving reparations. Just one black <laughs> All right, back to you, Mr. C. Thank you, guys. Yes, right now, I'm about to the world. They love those jokes right, down right, in right, Huntington Beach, right, let <laughs> That's right. That's right. And as a as a B1 candidate who also is for all Americans, I also as an African American have a duty to have mm. policy for African Americans. So I appreciate any support for reparations uh, in any manner. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yeah. Mm. Right on, right on, sister. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm right talking on, about. See, right on. look at that. Look at that. See, Bella Rose. If Bella Rose's mom was there, she'd enjoy that karaoke spot. She's like, ooh, white people. I want to <laughs> sing some of, I want to sing Pour Some Sugar on Me. Pour <laughs> some sugar on me. Mm. Yo, every Caucasian club I have ever been to in my life closes the night out with that. There have mm -hmm. been Caucasian women fucking to that song for 45 goddamn years. Yeah. Like, it's somebody out right now, drunk as shit, stolen in heels, 
some dudes, it's gonna make a bad decision. So that's what I'm talking about, and that's what we learned about like another round of applause for Karen Duet. <laughs> Right, right, right. So we got two more comedians coming out to the stage. We got a gentleman that's across the waters. We got a new baby to the stage that's coming out. The show's going down. We're going to pop that cherry to close. So you guys ready for this next comedian? Can I get a yeah? Yeah. yeah. All, right, all, right, all right, all right, all right. So this next yeah. gentleman is one of our wonderful talent, like classic babies. He's actually way across the pond over in India in a cool ass place. He is not from Dubai, but his name sounds good with it. So I love to say it because it's super fly. Check him out on his Instagram. He makes little <laughs> cool videos dancing around and shit. And he's also probably having sex with Bella Rose on the back end, but he won't admit it. We'll deal with that later. That's why she got such a <laughs> I know he did it. I know you used to call him Shaggy. I know you did. All right, anyway. Point is, you guys are this guy gotta get a clap, 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 Everybody coming to India. What? You guys coming to India? India to eat some curry and some do some meditation. <laughs> why, why not China? Let's go to China together and make some peace. <laughs> Talking about peace, we have like different sizes of peace pieces, different sizes, different desires. They say desire is the root cause of all evil, but. We need a desire to not have any desire. What about that desire? So we, it's, a, it's a cycle. This world is a cycle. We cannot stop it. Anyway, man, you know, I asked uh, Google, what is spirituality? It recommended me some uh, spirits like vodka, <laughs> gin, beer, and all the spirits. And it said like, hurry up before your spirits uh, expires and whatever <laughs> mm. get your spirit on sale that's spirituality you know sometimes beer is a uh, it's a metaphor it's a it's a cosmic liquid it's a social lubricant that brings people together meditation it takes a t it takes time it's not on time to the market you gotta like uh, be on it forever <laughs> but when you have beer by the time you finish that 300 ml, you become cosmic. You, 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 you start to expand your consciousness. Consciousness? What is consciousness? Your money is my money. No, no, no. I have my money. I have money. You have mm. money. Mm. It, but it's money. I have money. You have money. I have some money. You have some money. It's money. It's the same money. That's consciousness. We need economics. Technology is what's enable. It's enabling that consciousness. I'm right here in India. I hmm. if I turn off the video, it's a clubhouse. It's not Zoom. It's clubhouse. I turn <laughs> off the video. Save some battery. Expand the consciousness. <laughs> Yeah, man, I got to come to America to sell my shit. <laughs> 10000 to $15,000 per year you can make if, if your shit is healthy. It's called fecal transplant. Uh. What they do is they put the, put the healthy shit in a capsule and then they sell it. It develops some good gut in the back. It develops some good bacteria in your gut. I've heard you about can that. Buy that dollar capsule or you can ask your friend that that does a healthy shit freaky <laughs> section relationships relationships friends with benefits it's all business what is love what is inside love metrics number it's a number game love is a number game according to me in a way at a surface level, it all feels good, okay, humanity. But what's underneath that? It's numbers, it's supply and demand. If my love is more than your, your, your supply, 
I'm giving more, so it becomes business. I'm loving you more. You're not loving me enough. Okay, let's break up. It's business. Anyway, man. <laughs> we are in a tight, tightly coupled relationship. It's like running a private company, a limited liability company. If you are like in a private relationship, but if you are in an open relationship, it's more like a public company. Anybody can buy your stock. Nothing wrong. It's just a business model. Uh. It's just a business model. Choose your business model. I'm, I'm still choosing my business model. You know. Yeah. <laughs> electrons. Sometimes the whole evolution. I, I generate electrons. I rub my body. Friction. Friction generates electrons, man. Yeah, I do it every night. I <laughs> masturbate. <laughs> 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 now I, I, stop, I stopped watching porn. I'm taking, le I'm, 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 I'm just uh, expanding my imagination. I'm accessing my historic memory. Going to the yogis and yoginis and yogi sex and things like that. Hmm. Kama Sutra, in Kama Sutra, they say if your if if your girlfriend is so angry, her pussy becomes acid. Let me do some pimp style for you guys. <laughs> Make your girlfriend angry, her your her pussy becomes like acid, acid pussy. Mm -hmm. But if she's so happy, it's a lotus pussy. You choose. <laughs> Emotions will dictate the taste of the pussy. Close your eyes. If you close your eyes, pussy is a pussy. But if you you cannot close your nose. You cannot, you, it, it's a taste. Taste will come out. Veganism <laughs> is better. Vegan pussy is good. <laughs> pussy is gonna, it's, it's, it's a problem. non which pussy is a problem. And fruitarian pussy is, is godly. Uh. <laughs> I was a Zugan man. I was a Zugan when I was in, in LA. You know what is Zugan? Uh -uh. No, what's a Zugan? Eating only raw zucchinis. Mm. Oh. I was eating only raw zucchinis for some time and hitting all the, uh, the gyms in Los Angeles. And I do three hours gym straight up. Easy. Like a lithium battery. It's not comedy. I'm just boasting a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> One minute. Yeah. LA Fitness, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot I cannot forget the shower time. Somebody took my fruit ba fruit bag. I kept my fruit bag in LA in in the in LA in LA fitness. Somebody stole it. I got to come back to get my fruit bag. Hmm. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Anyway, then I got to buy all the fancy bag and uh, get some shake, that sh metal roller shake and whatever, and vegan, plant-based, uh, all the fancy stuff, whatever, man. But thank you so much, guys. It's a fantastic platform. Thank you, Carol. Salute. Yeah. 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 All right, round of applause for Shaggy Dura. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Educational information from all the way across the pond. We finally learned how to uncover a deep American issue. Back in the day, there was a guy that was a murderer of young men called Uncle Eddie Savitz. And one of the things he used to do was when the boys came over to his house, he would catch their fecal material before doing his horrible deeds. So, you know, if you minus the murder, he was really just trying to get some of that healthy shit. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I, no, I, don't, I, I mean, come on. I, I mean, you got to give that your break a little bit. I mean, come on. Uh. <laughs> That's terrible. Round <laughs> 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 of applause for Shaggy Durant. All right, I had too much, but I enjoyed that more than I should have. It went not. So we got our closing comedian. This answer is wonderfully talented. 
that you guys ready for this final comedian to close out the dog bar show? Can I get a yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right, all right, yeah. All right, all right. This guy's new to the fam, so we say him to the end. Mm. We always say the newbies to the end. Gonna pop his cherry. This gentleman is second city trained, super talented. That means he can improvise, catch on the fly, say it to a guy. I even know a guy named Brian Hunt that used to go through there. He might even know Brian, but we never know. And you about to lay it down. So you guys ready for this gentleman? Can I get a clap, 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 clap for the man with the T, Andy T. Holy <laughs> fuck. That's the only reason I did the show is for that fucking introduction. He's known for that. <laughs> I hope to God my mom didn't watch the show. I told my mom not, wa not to watch the show. <laughs> and right now I'm currently volunteering being a church counselor. So I just love <laughs> the breath of my life. But oh my God. Uh, I don't go to the gym, Shaggy. I wish I did. Is there ever mm. a guy that's more fucking true than that guy? He said everything that everybody thinks, but nobody fucking wants to say. Carol, I've done shows with before. Carol, after dark. Holy cow. My, <laughs> my, oh my God. That's amazing. <laughs> Wow, mm -hmm. Bella Rose, uh, I've got, I was working on my doctorate in psychology. <laughs> and so I'm just going to start there. Um, <laughs> for me, as it is for everybody else. Secondly, your mother's Lucifer. Can I marry her? Because <laughs> I swear I married a woman with every personality disorder in the DSM-5. Mm -hmm. And if you're actually an alien, I might want to marry you too. So we should talk after the show. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but while Joe, uh, fighting cancer with two children um i've got two cancer victims in my family that's amazing um mm -hmm. being on the west coast i've watched you i've watched mr c for a long time so it's an honor to be on here so thank you for doing what you do um because of what you guys do and the edge you have i usually do a much cleaner bit i'm trying something new here so be general uh generous uh, you know be gentle uh a one billion or one trillion dollar infrastructure bill just passed the senate today biden had wanted to give the irs more funding in the latest infrastructure bill to aggressively pursue tax evaders. That got scrapped. So I guess they're just gonna have to continue to continue to be polite during audits, right? Because that's what audits are. They're a really friendly experience. Mm. Joe Biden just hired baby drama, who he <laughs> said the TikTok influencer to do a marketing campaign to promote um, positive vaccine, whatever. Uh, second one he's hired, he's hired Olivia Rodrigo. I'm not going to talk about the politics behind it. I'm a fan of the show. I know if I do that, someone's going to tell me to eat a bag of dicks. So I'm not going to talk about that. Still, <laughs> Biden was the VP for Obama, right? Obama had Jay-Z do a marketing campaign for him. I'm just saying, how hard is it to pick up the phone? Just call the man, right? <laughs> <laughs> Biden's 80. He might not be the most in touch motherfucker in the world. Give the guy a call. <laughs> Obama just had a huge party at Martha's Vineyard, and I'll tell you why this has me a little pissed off, and I'm not really political on either side, but what I'm getting tired of is the fucking back and forth in politics of people saying one thing and then saying something else just to fucking prove a point. Republicans, man, get off our backs, get off our bodies, we shouldn't have to wear a mask, whatever the case may be. Obama has a party seat, look at that fucking super spreader. Democrats, we need to go home, we need to put our masks on, we need to, you know, nobody get around each other, but we're going to have a big motherfucking party. Okay, at the end of the day, stop, right? There's too much fucking media out there. We can tell when you're just doing political speak, stop lying to me. That's why nobody trusts anybody anymore. Here's the actual facts of the matter. Obama's cooler than any motherfucker. Uh, fuck, fuck, ah. Obama's cooler than any motherfucker here. I'm sorry, Mr. Say, that's just the way it goes. Tucker Carlson would go to his fucking party. Sean Hannity would go to his fucking party. So those motherfuckers need to stop and just hmm. start being real about this. CNN had the My Pillow guy on to talk about the evidence he compiled during the election. Guess what? This fucking conspiracy theory is not true. Big fucking shock. The My Pillow guy, he's a crackhead. Okay? <laughs> crackhead <laughs> known for coming up with crazy stories. Right? They've been known for this for 40 years. I'm a child of the 80s. You know what he told a crackhead back in the 80s when he came up with a crazy story? Man, you're just a crackhead. Shut the fuck up. Right? What you didn't do right. is cover him in the media for six fucking months. Right? Mm. He's a fucking crackhead. Still, dude may know something about pillows. Why? 
Crack addicts aren't known for being the most peaceful motherfucking population in the world. Have you ever seen a relaxed crackhead walking around? If there's a pillow walking around that'll actually get a crackhead a good night's sleep, man, that needs to be your pillow. That needs to be my pillow. And that could be all of our pillows for $29.95, just not at QVC though. Lionel Messier, 34 years old. He plays football right? Just signed a $104 million contract to play for Paris this year. Okay, so let's bring David Beckham back, right? I mean, he's 10 years older. Maybe he gets $10 million less, so maybe he gets $40 million a year instead of $50 million a year. Hell, let's just bring Pele back, right? I'm just saying, if we're just dusting off all the old motherfuckers who can't play anymore, let's just bring them all back. Pele is still there. Uh, Batman, Batman sidekick Robin just came out as being bisexual. Like Simon hmm. says, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'm just saying, Batman, I got one question. You have something to tell us? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Go ahead and come and tell us when you got your time, okay? Finally, Jennifer Aniston and David Schwimmer appear to be dating. Yeah, apparently one, he won her over by singing, your job's a joke, you broke, your love life's the away. <laughs> Sometimes you're always stuck in second gear. <laughs> and it hasn't been your day, your month, or even your year, then I'll be there for you. <laughs> and now they're dating. Thank you, guys. That's my time. Yeah! 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 Excellent job. Yeah! And that is how you close the Dow Bar Comedy Show. Little bit of funny, little bit of talent, little bit of stage singing, brought up some politics, and he hit on a great Whoa. point. And, and the reason why I run uh, for president in America. Both of these guys are all friends. Joe Biden is friends with Trump. Obama's friends with Tucker Carlson. They all get on TV and argue and talk trash and all that stuff, and they hang out together. They're all in Epstein's phone book. They're all homies. They all share money. They all make I money see together. Obama and Tucker Carlson hanging out. Yeah, they're all yeah, homies. I'm going to tell you something right here. You got to remember, Carlson they all Obama. live in Northern Virginia. I'm just telling you. They all live in Northern Virginia. They have kids and family, right? So guess where all their kids go? All their kids go to the same private schools. All their kids go to the same places. All their kids hang out. Like Joe Biden and his, the, these guys know each other. So they get on stage and talk trash and I hate him and I'm going to do this. And they go right behind the stage and say, how was John's play last night? Is your daughter Sue okay? Hey, hey you know, That's Bob over at Bilderberg, is. he said we should invest. Yes. I, I'm just <laughs> telling you the game and whatnot. It's a, it's a Ponzi scheme. Remember that. Both sides are fucking us with no Vaseline. Get independent is my thing. And that's what Dive Bar is all about. It's about the freedom of American independence. I'm not about to run in no Capitol building and I'm not starting no trouble, but I do want you to vote for free for people who actually are showing you results and not stuck you in the butt for 65 straight years. And that's what the Dive Bar Comedy Show is about. Another round of applause for Andy T. Woo all right, so that was our last comedian for the night. We're gonna get out of here. I'm going to sing a quick doodle. Right now, I'm into, like, the old cartoon theme songs. I would not. I was, I was thinking, I, I, I looked at my little box earlier, and I had my little, some of my little DuckTales shit. So I'm going to sing the DuckTales theme song before we get out of here. I think I can remember most of the words. <clears throat> we'll see what we get. And then Wild is going to tell us where to go. <clears throat> Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, airplanes. It's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery. Oh, rewrite history. Duck tail. Every day that I can take those duck tail. There's a tales in your time. New duck tails. Boom, 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 boom. The, the, the danger, look behind you. And that's a stranger, I have to find you. And what you do, just grab onto some duck tails. Woo! Do, 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 every day that I can make those duck tails. Woo! And that's the Dive Bar Comedy Show. Wild Joe, tell us where we're going to go. Oh, nice to see you. Oh, my God. Oh, God. My kids are at me.
But wow, that was something different. That was a song that we never would think we'd hear on the dive bar comedy show. But uh, <laughs> wow, there are some pretty catchy theme songs. So maybe we'll hear more, more theme songs. In the oh, you'll be doing gummy bears next week. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now we have first Tuesday of the month at, oh no, they're hitting the bidet. They're playing with the bidet. I got to get out of here. Okay. They have first Tuesday of the month. We're doing at uh, Witch's Brew, which is out in North Hills in the Valley outside LA, San Fernando Valley. And then we have uh, last Tuesday of the month at Liquid, the, uh, Liquid Zoo, which is also in the valley but it's in van nuys and then august 17th which is the third tuesday i don't know if it's going to be every month but we'll see the first one is coming up next week at lotus lounge in east hollywood so come out and check out a live show if you're in the la area if not just uh check out our zoom shows at divebarcomedy.com or wherever you listen to your podcast just type dive bar comedy add us write to us Hey, you never know. You could end up on the show like Andy. Andy was just watching the show. Now he's on it. So there you go. All there right. You go. Thank you to all of our comics. Thank you to everybody watching. And we will see you another Tuesday. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.